over. Hey guys, and welcome to episode two of Why Not Me. I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning into that first episode. If you did, um, it was kind of just an introduction into why I'm doing this series, what's been going on with me and the goal with the series, which is obviously to compete. So pretty much what's been going on since the last time I got on camera, I have actually reached out to my to my old coach Callum and the plan is to kind of get back working with him once we get to the middle of October I do plan to start working with him once again and to be honest with you I think I need I need that coach I'm somebody that needs somebody to hold me accountable and I definitely work better when I've got somebody on my case especially when it comes to eating I naturally don't have a very big appetite having somebody hold me accountable to that food is going to be key and Callum is one of the best coaches in the UK um, so yeah I'm looking very very forward to that I and mean, then once obviously I get working with Callum I'll show you the process of check-ins I'll show you what the plan is with Callum what he kind of breaks down to me but we have worked together before um, but yeah I had a little bit of a break as explained with my digestive issues I'm looking forward to it at the minute, training has been a little bit all over the place. Just I'll train here and there. Uh, it's just all over the place. I need to have that programming. I need somebody else to provide that programming for me. But yeah, today, I just wanted to actually take you through some food shopping. Now, once I get back to working with my coach, I will have a meal plan. So I'll have pretty much the set meals and I'll be eating pretty much the same meals every single day. But for now, um, I'm pretty much just trying to stick to four or five meals per day, um, regardless kind of of what it is. And then like once a week, I might have something like Burger King or Domino's or whatever the hell it might be. But yeah, see you guys soon. back from shopping I'm pretty much going to talk you guys through what I've picked up I just want to take you through my carb sources so carbohydrates my proteins and fats and kind of what I'm thinking about when I'm going food shopping so first thing why don't we do why don't we do carbs first fruit kiwis grapefruit got a lot of grapefruit two of them veg tomato more fruit rice because it's just easy for me just to buy ready made rice because it's, it's just a lot easier although it's probably wiser and cheaper to just make your own rice vt 300 gram rice either long grain or thai jasmine pen bagels as well because you're not a bodybuilder if you don't like bagels easy easy calories like 200 and some calories per bagel um easy and easy to eat as well and they never get old so that's pretty much it for my carbs i try and eat fruit um, and veg with every single meal. Um, I'll have fruit really with my morning meal. So you'll see last week I put the ground rice. I'll have fruit with that meal every single time. And also I'll have fruit after I eat my hot meals, which also will contain vegetables. And now because I had these issues with my gut, I'm just very, very conscious about the health of my gut. And I was just eating so much food, but I wasn't eating enough vegetables, fiber, all that good stuff. So now I'm making a conscious effort to, effort to kind of have more fruit with what I eat. Yeah, so let's go on to the protein I'm eating at the minute. Protein, chicken, easy, salmon, because salmon's incredible. It's also nice if you get it right. Some of you are not seasoning your salmon properly. Season your salmon with jerk seasoning or some soy sauce, some ginger, some onions, garlic. Do you know what I mean? Make it, make it taste nice. If I just stuck that in the oven, that's not gonna taste, that's gonna taste like bollocks. Some steak mints, just 5%. This will last me a few days, but I'll try and I'll really just have like a red meat meal every day. It will rotate between this and either burgers with the bagels, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, just some steak mints I'll probably have with just some rice. And finally, on the protein farm, we've got yogurts, skier yogurts, or however you pronounce it. Very, very nice. 450 grams in each one of these. Uh, and one pot contains about 45 grams of protein. So I just have one of those with some granola. Honey ones as well, gorgeous, very, very easy to eat. It's all about just being easy to eat. And finally, my fat sources, 
avocados because who doesn't like avocados and some chocolate this is gonna go on my cereals in the morning and on my greek yogurt but yeah guys that's pretty much it for today i mean for the rest of the day i've got i've got an mot due on my car and i've had this car since i was like 19 years old um it's just it's time i think it's time for it to go but we'll see the result of the mot if it's bad then i'll probably have to just invest in a new car um but yeah and then i've got clients this evening so what i'm gonna do is leave you guys for now but i will catch up with you tomorrow good morning people so back from yesterday yesterday you would have caught my food shopping um and i just kind of quickly ran through oh um, the kind of food that i'm eating at the minute it wasn't like a massive shop it was just to run you through the carb sources proteins and fats um and like i said at the minute i'm not following a meal plan it's just elliot get four or five meals in throughout the day um i won't be on a meal plan until i'm back working with my coach again uh, which hopefully will be within the next week or so like i just said um, but today you're going to join me for a push day with ash and again same intensity as that leg day um, just going to run you through a little bit more just try and talk a little bit more in the gym to you guys let you kind of you know on the fly our thinking when we're training um, and then we'll go from there um, main thing really today is going to be it's got to be 65s bro 65s today uh, I just want to get in for a few and then I'll probably drop down to 60. Everything else, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter what else you kind of do around that, to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not tracking what we're doing, but in terms of lifts. So the main focus is just see what I can do with the 65s, isn't it? Um, then after that, I think we might do a, a seated military press, and then some lateral raises, some triceps, um, and maybe a pec fly as well, and go from there. But like I said yesterday as well when I was recording, I'm not really tracking my workouts until I start working with Callum again, so it's kind of stuff on the fly, do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, quick warm up on here, we'll do some mobility and then we'll get right to it, man. We've got three sets on this press. Uh, we're gonna go, I'm gonna go 65 straight away when I'm at my strongest, see what I can get. I'll probably drop down to about 60 again. I've been working on that weight for the past few weeks, so I'm gonna aim for about five or six reps with a 60 on my second set. Uh, and then I'll drop the weight down, probably high 40s or 50s um, for my like back of set for the third one. The man behind the camera is going for 80 kilos today on the dumbbells fam. So yeah, yeah we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So as you could see, the main goal really for this session was just to move the 65s. It's something that I've just never done before. I've never even managed to get a clean kind of rep with them and the last time i tried them i was about eight kilos heavier um, lost a little bit of weight over lockdown as i as i mentioned in the first episode um, just from these digestive issues um, so being able to move the 65s now would be just so ideal especially when i'm lighter and it will just kind of prove that the work that i had done prior to lockdown was significant and I've built a significant amount of muscle um, but now it's just really just building on it um, and of course as mentioned as well Ash was gonna go for the 80 kilo dumbbells today so you'll catch a glimpse of what went down there um, but now we're just warming up at the minute we'll do typically three three to five uh, warm-up sets just to get the joints moving just to get used to the movement um, but I'll I'll let you guys tune into this first set while I try this 65 Come on in, work your set. Work your set, let's fucking go. Come on. Hey, Lizzie. Yep, yeah, twist them out. Three, two, up. That's shoot high. Come on in. Come on, send it up. Up. Yes. Up. Come on. And again, let's go. Yes! Come on! Come on! Now I'm with you, let's go! Huh? Come on, bro! Driver! 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 So I did end up getting three solid reps there. Um, I was really surprised. I didn't even expect that to move. When the first one went, I was shocked. Um, 
But yeah, Ash here is going for the 80 kilo dumbbells. This would be a first for him as well. But as you can see, his left wrist just couldn't stabilize at all. Um, he did request wrist wraps afterwards, but the result was still the same. It was just no stabilization on that left hand side. The right seemed pretty stable, but it was just a little bit too unsafe for him to go. To be honest with you though, he's natural and even to reach a point where he's considering moving the 80 kilo dumbbells for a press is ridiculous. I'm sure he'll get there soon. Um, but yeah, for my second set, I moved on to the 60 kg dumbbells and again, I hit another personal best. Three, two, up. Oh. I hit the 60 kg dumbbells I think that was nine reps with a spot which is just mad to me I'm, I'm still just I'm very very excited even now just watching that back because I genuinely just weigh so much less than the last time I done that and I haven't even done that many reps before on the flat uh, with the 60s let alone after I hit uh, 65 kg dumbbells as well for the first time uh, so really really happy with that result and i'm sure once my weight creeps back up i'll just become so much more stronger and then ash um, of course moved on to the 70 kg dumbbells where he hit a personal best um, of eight reps and you could see at the end there he just he thought he got six um, but it was actually eight so don't know what in the world we were we were eating over the weekend or he we must have just recovered so well or i don't know if it was the camera or what but our strength was just through the roof for this initial exercise what you're just watching there as well is my third and final set i hit 50 kg dumbbells just for some double digits and then ash went down to 70 again um he just stayed quite low with the reps um, and again kind of just preparing himself to go on to those 80 kg dumbbells but definitely a good first exercise exercise number two was our military press with the barbell, it's been a while since I've done that. This is just my second week doing this with Ash, as suggested by Ash, just to give this a go. And I actually quite like it. I think I might suggest this to Callum once we start working together again in a couple of weeks um, to kind of instill this into my programming because I really do enjoy this one. And I think I've got a lot of room for improvement. But on this one, we just done two working sets. Um, and again, we just warmed up. I warmed up on 60 kg and 80 kg. I believe my first working set was 100 kilos. So why not me for this thing? Let's 
So my first set was that 100 kilo set. I dropped it down to 75 kilos actually, not 80. Ash done 120 kg for his first set and then finished on 100 kilos for his second set. Uh, for the next exercise, we moved on to lateral raises. This machine is absolutely golden. Uh, the feeling that I get in kind of my side delts is just insane. You get a nice pump and it gives you a chance to really contract the delt. Seven, let's go. Come on, eight. Slow down. Again. Ah, it's still good, man. Three. Again. Seven. Three. Still good, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, still good. Still good. Still good. And again. Come on. Push. Yeah. What you saw in those last couple of reps was negatives. So once Ash really can't get that weight up anymore, I just helped him get it to the top. So he hasn't got to use the muscle to bring it up, but he has got to use the muscle to control the negatives. So what I'll do is push down on the weight and get him to fight against that force that I'm kind of applying to the machine. And again, that kind of just ekes out as much muscle recruitment as possible throughout the set. 
so definitely brutal we finished on three sets of that we then moved on to the pec fly machine on this we only done one set and we done muscle rounds so we done six reps 10 seconds rest six reps repeated that four times um yeah very very brutal Awkward. So that was the last of my muscle round set. So that was the last six reps that you just saw there. And yeah, our chest was pretty fried at that point, to be honest with you. Our last two exercises were just focusing on the triceps. We done some heavy dips, two sets, Ash done four plates, I done three on that first set. Second set, we both worked on two plates, slowed the form down a little bit, just worked on really contracting the tricep, and then we moved on to a V-bar push down to finish. I can't tell you guys how excited I am to be having a regular routine again with my training and kind of bring you on a journey in terms of exercises. So for example, a big one for me before the lockdown was Romanian deadlifts and I worked my way up from uh, to 210 kilos for eight reps. And I'd been doing that Romanian deadlift in my training for the past four months that like that routine had not changed and it kind of just brought some brought a little connection to the exercises I really liked it and I, th I think it'll be really good if people can see that consistent improvement across an exercise um, but yeah guys that's pretty much it for today um, I'll give you a little bit of a roundup in my car um, and just leave you with the final clip of the v-bar push down but as always, make sure to subscribe. I hope you guys have a great Friday. And I'll see you next week for some more. Fucking okay, hell, what am I doing there? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, for some more fun. Um, but yeah, take care, guys. And I'll speak to you soon. Apologies if the lighting's bad, but that is the push session done. Not too many exercises at all. We hit the incline press and I'm so happy. I, I didn't even think the 65s would move, to be honest with you. So it was good to see them actually come off of my chest. Then we went on to a, an incline press, not an incline press, a, a military press, seated military press, lateral raises, a pec fly on the pec deck machine. We then went on to triceps, we done a dip machine, and then we went on to a V-bar pushdown. Again, this was kind of on the fly. This wasn't necessarily planned, I'm not tracking it. Um, it was just more so that I had to get a push workout in this week, and I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an insight into the intensity of the workout, and making sure that every single rep is accurate, making sure that we're not wasting the session. I think the next, Maybe within the next couple of episodes, I'll be working with my coach and then I'll be able to show you my routine that is all planned out with me. But until then, um, it'll just kind of be on the fly, on the fly sessions. Other than that, guys, I'm actually going to cut the video here. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel, share it with your best mates and with your fam. Um, take care and I'll see you for episode three.